Hello homies, welcome to a very special quick bite sized thumb together because news just dropped that we need to talk about from the good folks at the house of Mouse. Disney has released an official statement regarding the full cast list of a little independent feature coming out sometime next year nobody's really keeping track of called Star Wars Episode Nine. Now a full cast list for the third installment of a trilogy is usually not very exciting, but A, it's Star Wars. B, a very, very big question that has been gnawing at us for almost two years has finally been answered. Now, there are a couple of big moments in this cast list that need to be addressed. The first one is Mark Hamill. That's right, good old Uncle Luke himself is officially coming back in some capacity in Episode Nine. be it Force Ghost, be it Flashback, be it Ray just has like a beach towel with his face on it. I don't know. All we know is Mark Hamill's Luke is returning in some way, shape, or form. I think we all pretty much guessed at that. I mean, why not? But this is the first time it has been made official by the good folks at Disney and Lucasfilm. So we have that to look forward to. If you didn't get enough Luke in the last movie, and I know there are a hell of a lot of you out there who say they didn't, you're going to get more Luke. So you're welcome. But that's not the big news. The big news is that the cast list also mentioned that Star Wars Episode Nine will in fact contain Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia. According to J.J. Abrams, he was not a fan of CGing her character and he was not a fan of recasting. So he worked together with the editing team and they will be presenting a Leia to us in Episode 9 cobbled together from unused footage that they shot for Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Finally, we know the answer to the question. I mean, since Carrie's unfortunate passing back in December of 2016, we have been wondering, you know, what are they going to do about Leia? And now we finally have an answer. They are using previously shot footage. This is a good thing because it's kind of, you know, walks the middle ground. Everybody wins because there are people out there who did not want CG. There are people who were okay with it, and there are people out there who did not want recasting, and there were people who were okay with it. This toes the line, and it, it's trying to please everybody, considering the climate of Star Wars fandom of late. I understand why they would go with the people-pleasing method, but this does present a problem. Because according to the articles that I have read, the footage captured of Leia that they will be using was not footage from Episode Eight. It was specifically said it was footage from Episode Seven. Therefore, I'm a little worried that it's just not going to match and mesh well with what we have going on. Remember, the Leia from Episode 7 was content knowing that her husband was very much alive. Even if, you know, there's no line of dialogue where she's fully like, I am glad my husband is alive. It's present in her character. It's present in the demeanor of Leia. It's present in Carrie's performance. You know, if Nine has the characters in some dire situation where, you know, Leia is the only one left and she doesn't have her brother, she doesn't have her husband, and she's just alone facing off against the First Order, and we get a shot of Carrie Fisher looking all happy from back in the Episode 7 days, saying something along the lines of, my son can still be redeemed, right Han? I, I don't know, it it's so easy for it to not make practical sense, it's so easy for it to feel patchwork, but I mean, if it was going to be that bad, I'm pretty sure Disney would have you know, poo-pooed this idea before it started. But the fact that they've announced it actually tells us a lot more than we think. It tells us that this script has Leia lines in it that match to things that Leia has said back in the episode Seven Days, and it tells us that those lines probably more likely than not, we hope, conform to what's going on in the story. J.J. Abrams and company would have had to sift through that old footage, find the right material, and adhere that to the script, as opposed to writing a script and then trying to find material that matches. So that tells me that whatever Leia scenes we get are going to be very carefully constructed. Uh, they're going to probably exist in their own little pockets of the script. They're not going to be present in the plot at large, whatever the plot may be, because we don't know that yet. Uh, so this casting announcement tells us that. If they had just said, we're recasting and Leia's going to be played by somebody else entirely, then that still kind of leaves a lot of things in the dark regarding her scenes and her involvement in the story. But since we know it is Carrie's archived footage that we're using, I think we can surmise that her role is going to be much smaller 
Um, she's probably going to be confined to a ship or an office or, or, or some sort of role where she doesn't have to be in the thick of things. Because if she's in the thick of things and there's a situation that would come up where she's like, Kylo Ren, Supreme Leader of the First Order, now that Snoke is dead. Stop your evil ways. That, that, that's not possible because Carrie Fisher has never said that. We can glean from this info that we are getting a small amount of Leia, but I think that's okay, that's for the best, because again, this is the, the scenario that toes the line where everybody is happy, they get their carry Leia, they don't have to worry about CGI, and besides, we're getting Uncle Luke and Uncle Lando. We know for a fact that they are both showing up for episode nine, so I think that this is the best possible outcome in terms of fan happiness, in terms of fan service. You have two original trilogy characters and a little bit of another in this archived footage of Leia. I'm going to make a guess right now and say that Leia has as much screen time in episode 9 as Maz Kanata did in The Force Awakens. That's my bet. Take that to the bank. So that is the news that Disney has just dropped on us and we can process that for however long we want until the next news comes out. But I just thought that was worth talking about. Please feel free, chime in. How does this Leia news make you feel? We finally have our answer. It's been so long. Is this what you wanted? Is this absolutely not what you wanted? Please tell me. We want to know. Anyway, that has been this little bite-sized thumb together. My name is Andrew Fantasia. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, adios.